Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to an all day thorough house clean with me. So the kids are all at school, I have a couple of days off and I figured I'd use one of my days to do a thorough top to bottom house clean because boy oh boy does it need it. So I have got my little duster out and I am going around dusting all the bits that don't normally get dusted on a weekly basis and we're just going to do a thorough spring clean today. So if you've got any cleaning to do, pop this video on, clean alongside me or watch for some cleaning motivation before you get stuck into your own. I'm just about to go into the cupboard where the boiler is and give that all a good dust and as you will see... Ugh, just look at how dusty and horrible that duster is. It's going straight in the wash. Now, I went around opening all the windows this morning to get all the fresh air through the whole of our home. Um, when I opened this window, however, there was a huge spider crawling on the top of it. So I quickly shut it and then called Gareth and informed him that we were no longer using that window anymore. Um, <laughs> oh, honestly, it was massive. So I've just been wiping down all the fronts of the cabinets and I've given the window a clean. Obviously going on the bottoms of the cabinets, they get really grubby with three children. So it's just a job that it always needs doing really, otherwise I end up spending ages having to get marks off them. Um, and I'm always going over this little bit of skirting as well in the kitchen because where I fold washing and things in there, I just feel like dust falls on it quite a lot. I thought today as I was doing a thorough clean I'd also go around the bottom of the cupboards and give the plinths a good wipe to get any scuffs off them and I also thought that it was about time I gave the oven a clean as well with the elbow grease stuff I got in a cherry's haul a while back. Um, the oven wasn't that dirty actually but I do feel better for giving it a clean so you know that doesn't need to be done again for a while. Cleaning the window is a job that I don't do all that often but every so often I do because it does get splashed when I'm washing up and it just gets a little bit grubby so I'm giving that all a good wipe over and it looks all sparkly and clean and I thought as I'm doing a thorough house clean let's get an energy cleansing simmer pot on so that we can zhuzh the house all nice and make it feel all fresh and good inside. Oh, look at those toaster tray catcher, crumb catcher, whatever they're called. I clearly need to empty those out more often than I do. And I'm just gone around and sprayed the surfaces with the Pink Stuff Miracle Spray Cleaner. It smells so nice. Um, and it's nothing really more to say about that. It's just an all-purpose cleaner. And we've got a cupboard in the, our hallway that is quite a small cupboard and we've got the most amount of stuff in it. We've got the hoover, the step stool, the ironing board, a gazillion coats because I have got three, Gareth's got at least two. The kids have all at least got two. Oh, and all the sugars are kept in there as well. So I am just emptying it out and I'm going to give the floor in there just a very quick hoover and then rearrange it all and just put it back together nicely. Yeah, oh, two hoovers in there actually, so it's a bit like um, Mary Poppins bag, that uh, little cupboard there, it's got so much in. And just giving all the high levels a feather dust, which I do every so often, not that often, but just every once in a while, just to get any little cobwebs off that get up there. And then I'm just going around and giving the hallway a good dust, and it's quite a high traffic area, so I like to do that every day, if I can. Um, there are some days where I don't do it. And we all know how I feel about my front door. I do like to give that a nice wipe around every day if I can. If it's raining, I don't bother. And sometimes if it is raining, I'm like, oh, never mind. I can't clean. I don't need to clean the front door today. Um, but I do like a nice clean front door. And then I'm just going over my inside steps with some, I think it's the pink stuff cleaner again, just to get any marks off there. And I'm probably more excited than I should be about this. But that is my new shower curtain that has arrived today. Um, our other one was just getting a bit old and discoloured on the bottom despite me washing it regularly so I thought I'd go for a lovely tropical jungle theme one and I am thrilled with it. I have recently given the kitchen floor a good clean so I'm just going over it with a damp microfiber cloth so just to get any marks up and then I've moved into my bedroom now and I'm giving my windows a clean which again something I do every so often just when I feel like they're looking really grubby 
and I can be bothered to do a big proper clean of them. Um, touching the windows is a big bugbear of mine if my kids do. I'm like, will you not touch the windows? So, yeah, there we go. And I'm also moving our bedside tables and dusting behind them and giving them a hoover. And I'm really glad that I did do this because in the corner there, there's just some mould starting to form where it's been so cold and that's like an external wall. So I'm glad that I caught that before it got any worse. And I'm just going to give my room a thorough dust now. Because we've got dark furniture and you can just, it just attracts dust. It's a dust magnet. So... There we go. And the kids also like to touch my mirror on my wardrobe, which again, just have to get the marks off there. Just have to accept that's life for children, isn't it? Okay. Mucky fingers on any kind of shiny or glass surface. I don't know if you can tell in the background there, but while I'm cleaning, I am watching Below Deck on Netflix and I absolutely love that show. I don't, let me know in the comments if you like it too or if you loathe it. So I've moved into the living room now and every now and then again I just like to give the couch a clean with a damp cloth to get any mucky marks off from you know life that happens in the living room and I'm just giving I think I have given the windows in here a clean today but I haven't videoed it likewise I did clean my bathroom as well but you've seen me clean my bathroom quite a lot and it's a bit of a faff and I was actually on the phone to I think my sister while I was doing that so I didn't film that but I am going around and giving the living room a thorough dust. And again, with the dark furniture in here, it just attracts dust. And I do it and it looks lovely. And then I just have to ignore it. I have to re re make a real effort to ignore it for like the rest of the time so it doesn't bother me. Um, but again, I am dusting things that I don't normally dust today because this is a thorough house clean. So I don't normally get the step stool out and do all the speakery bits. And I did do the ceiling fan as well. Oh my gosh, that was quite dusty but I don't think I've filmed that either. So yeah, I'm just pulling things out that I wouldn't necessarily normally do. I do move these little bits of furniture on a weekly basis or two weekly basis and hoover under them just so that I feel like, you know, everything stays nice and clean. But sometimes I can't be bothered and other times I, I do. And I don't think it gets that messy anyway. It's just more me being fussy. So, and then me feeling like it's clean basically um I am quite fussy and sometimes I can get too in my head about it so I'm working on that that is something I am working on but I don't really enjoy dusting this little corner because it's Gareth's little computer bit as you can see and there's like some fiddly bits there and it's, I just find it annoying really to uh, to dust I don't always pull this unit out because it is a bit of a faff but it does feel good when I do because I give it a good dust and I can hoover properly behind there as well so that's nice to know that's been done and doesn't need to be done again for a while. Another little thing that is a massive dust trap are these candle holders. I really like them, but again, they do attract the dust. And I'm just giving the table a wipe, probably. I need to wipe that table down quite a lot, honestly, because the kids obviously eat up there. And I will be cleaning the mirror in a minute. And quite handily, I'm glad I hadn't cleaned it before now because Lily opened her frub and <laughs> splattered yogurt all over it in the morning. And I was like, oh, don't worry about that. I'm going to be cleaning later. But at the moment, I'm giving the chairs a wipe down, which my children seem to think are napkins. And it drives me mad. But this is something I don't think I've ever really done. It's dusted the slats in between my radiator cover and they were quite dusty and there you go you can see there now I'm working on the yogurt slat that got on there but I do like a nice clean shiny mirror and I'm just giving everything else a good dust it's just you know dusty boring but necessary feels good once you've done it because everything smells and looks nice And of course, no clean with me would be complete without a load of washing being hung out or folded. So I've been doing some washing and I also needed to change all three beds, which I've done and I have spoken previously about how much I loathe this job. But again, once it's done, I do it every, every week. I will either do alternate ones. So yeah, they have them on for two weeks at a time and they all shower before bed anyway. So I don't actually feel like they're sheets get that dirty um and they don't tend to sit on there with like their clothes and things on so i think yeah every every two weeks changing it it's fine especially as they have a million cuddly toys zach isn't too bad but charlie and lily oh my goodness the amount of cuddly toys they have it's astronomical you'll see in a minute where i'm just 
getting them off all um, all, of, all of Lou's bed. It's just crazy. But they have recently been given by Garrus auntie the Minnie and Mickey, which you'll see in a second, that she got given when she visited uh, Disneyland in California back in the 80s. She was like the 3,000th person through the gate that day. Um, and every so often they gave someone Minnie and Mickey's. So they are like really special when she gave them to Lily and Charlie. But it always does feel nice when you get their beds with clean sheets on. It's just such a faff putting all of the cuddly toys back on. There's Minnie and Mickey. And I'm giving their windows a good clean because if any windows are going to get fingerprints on, it's these ones. My kids love touching the windows and you can guarantee they're going to touch the windows after I've cleaned them. It's just like a universal law. You know, mum cleans the windows, we must touch them. And then I'm just giving everything a good dust. Their room is actually not too bad because they've got white furniture. It doesn't show the dust as much. So, so it's a good thing. And then I have moved on to doing the hoovering. And I think this is one of my last jobs of the day because this literally was an all day cleaning with me. I stopped cleaning to go pick up the kids and then I resumed it once we got home. And cleaning was, hoovering rather, was the last thing on my list before making pancakes because today was actually pancake day as well so I got the cleaning done and then we all had pancakes for dinner which was really nice and super unhealthy because my kids obviously don't like fruit or anything so then they just had like Nutella and ice cream and things with it so they had a lovely dinner but it certainly was lacking in nutritional value let me tell you that and now I'm hoovering in my room um and I did do the edges you'll see me yeah there we are going around with a little attachment getting the edges all done I think I moved that grey box as well, that's where I keep all the linen. So I moved that previously, but again, I didn't film that. And it just feels so nice to get it all hoovered, and it just smells so fresh and lovely once you've given it a thorough hoover. So I hope that you have enjoyed this clean with me. I hope it's given you some cleaning motivation, um, you know, or just inspiration to get stuck into some spring cleaning it always feels good once it's done um it's rare that i have a whole day cleared to do cleaning so i did it did feel good that that was the only thing i had to do that day and i really did give it a good thorough go over felt so nice when it was all done let me tell you i was tired i did work hard this day um but if you have enjoyed it please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment if you want to and um yeah subscribe if you haven't subscribed already i'd love to have you over on my channel um i think we're getting quite a few subscribers now which is lovely so thank you so much thank you everybody for watching it means the world to me that you are part of my youtube channel and that you watch my videos so thank you so so much and i will see you in the next one guys take care